this. They show the pattern already, as Tuji shown that they like to play for the front lane hero, which is Hufra, and you can easily punish that if you just uh, place three heroes uh, nearby Hufra and uh, kind of force home, uh, S2G to attack Hufra and then immediately counter attack with all heroes because a lot of skills gonna be wasted on the tank basically. And uh, yeah, so homeboys need to adapt for it. Hufra need to stop running solo and uh, they need to be ready to kind of counter attack the Hufra attack. And that's gonna be the key component here, but can they understand this? Yeah, true, and you can kind of see that they're taking neutral objectives down there. It looks like on to the red buff, the ruby a little low here, but the team's gonna be rotating. S2G, Zorn trying to utilize the conceal play, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough as <laughs> Nex is cut off guard a little too deep into S2G's jungle. A little too deep, like <laughs> he could try to like <laughs> skip wave in the spawn, like right on the base. <laughs> like I don't know, <laughs> it's going to be same deep, in my opinion. Nice TP is coming out, but he can die for, for them. I think if the Nathan joins, it might be a good fight. We knew we were rotating, taking her purple buff here, and uh, gonna try to utilize. Her ultimate as well. I mean, nobody tried to defend the tier two tower. That's weird. But uh, <laughs> hours for two already, but 66 seconds on the Lord, and the positioning is going to be slowly rotating towards bot lane. Yeah, I mean, we we are seeing that the jungles are about the same level. So homeboys are farming efficiently but they are losing towers one by one. Losing that mid tower early on in the game as well is a little bit of a blow to homeboys. And that's why, I mean, it's causing them to get caught off guard. And again, some of their decisions are a little bit questionable, uh, especially at that red buff not too long ago. I, You know, it looked like Zorn just like try to conceal play and get the claw out of there, but then they attempted to do like a split play uh, but it just didn't work. S2G able to remove or to read those movements very well. Right now, it looks like they're trying to hunt something. But Zorn, Zorn's been TPing a lot. I, he's he's got the confidence. Yeah, yeah. But is it confidence or is it like our confidence? Because uh, he already feed it for like two times and he need, gotta be aware that uh, S2G maybe he's trying to like kind of calm them down and make them not attack him by doing this kind of stuff but I don't know will it work though and, uh, he kind of showing the wrong bush here on the Hufra popping conceal and trying to Can't find some kills Claude here using his first skill trying to kill Matilda forced to use the ultimate to run away and Navaria trying to snipe that and a uh, little bit XP and skills exchange. Yeah, I mean, we are seeing that homeboys attempted to try to make a play. I like the read by S2G, able to just passively back up from that. I, they were trying to make a conceal play from the second bush, uh, but did nothing come of it. Oh, you see a little bit of a flicker and a Tyrant's Rage coming in onto Zorn. Zorn putting on a lot of pressure, but CPAD able to take out again. A little bit of a blow for S2G. CPAT and Nets kind of low. I wonder what they're going to do. Are they going to respond? Come on, S2G. Yeah, nine, what nice you initiation. Got? Nah, no, 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 not going. Enjoying just one kill on the mage and uh, trying to convert it into the Lord. But uh, I guess it's not going to happen. Uh, Nathan, though, go to the base and maybe it's the time to go for the Lord. But yeah, nice first kill from the Hufra, even though it's not fully charged. Still uh, pop like double uh, purify there and e eventually kill the mage. The tyrant rage on the lunar there. There looks like trying to put a little bit of pressure, but the the sustainability is too much. CPAT kind of getting pressured, but again having to utilize that last insanity to get out. Going to be returning back to the base. Watch Chibi kind of. On the back line, S2G zoning them out, trying to pressure them. Nets about to go in. Chibi goes in. Directory doesn't connect, though. Kazu able to secure it. S2G on the lead. Yeah, kind of premature used ultimate Tyrant's range on the Hufra there. It was one of the reasons why S2G went straight for the Lord because like no initiation now on Hufra tried to kill Ruby uh, using his ultimate without the stun just for um, positioning nobody followed and uh, resulted the Lord. 
Yeah, I mean, we we seen that they did attempt. Uh, homeboys attempted to go in. The retry just wasn't in time compared with the positioning and the pressure put on by S2G. And now they're going to utilize this to the fullest. You can kind of see the Natan and I'm pretty sure this Matilda up at the top lane going to be zoning out, utilizing some of these minions. But you got to give up to homeboys. They are kind of pushing back a little bit. Yeah, and they are just trying to enjoy a little bit of Lord pressure. I don't like to see that because I like to see more aggressive play. In my opinion, these Mega Minions, you shouldn't give like, like they gave just for free defense. But hey, uh, whatever, every team has his, his own strategy. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, now it's just one tower for the Lord on top. It is, it is. Uh, and again, I mean, homeboys still have a decent amount of defense still mounted up. We can kind of take a look at some items. Claude looking like he's almost online right now, War Barbie. Yeah, and same as uh, Nathan as well. We can see the builds right now. And the build on Nathan actually is super good. If he gonna build Divine Glaive last item, he gonna just melt the tanks now. And... Uh, uh, I think homeboys might have a problem if they don't focus Nathan straight away. It is true, and uh, Nathan does have that uh, the win chance as well to kind of anticipate that Claude pressure. Um, so I think it's going to come down to positioning and control over the map, and you can kind of see homeboys controlling all of the right side. Does look like they're going to engage S2G at this point. Zorn going in. We see a backline push here. Blazing Duet goes on to S2G. Ooh. Paired with a last insanity into the backline, but wow. look, the Matilda able to save them, and CPAT caught off guard. It does look like S2G is now responding to the pressure that homeboys brought in. It does look like they're gonna stay at the Lord though. I think that was uh, definitely a win for S2G. They're gonna pressure this blue buff. Now they're gonna keep it if the pressure up. Wow, such a good actually Hufra play here. Me as the Hufra main uh, back in the days, I can tell this is an experience. So he jumped with his first skill on a Nathan, and Nathan did a mistake. Use uh, use purify to purify himself out of first skill, and Hufra didn't ult when purify ended. He ult on top of that. That's experienced Hufra. Jeez, Nets able to secure a kill onto the Matilda, and it does look like homeboys are initiating so much here. S2G loses three, and homeboys don't lose with anybody. This could be devastating for S2G at this point. Losing the Lord and losing four. Can Kazu make it out? It looks like a couple taunts are coming out, but homeboys mm -hmm. showing great pressure. We might just see a full push into the mid lane right now as Nets is online. Oh no. Yeah, and the only 10 seconds to Matilda, who she will not really help there. Trying to clear the mid wave and go straight for the crystal, or at least to kill Frederin here. Frederin is low HP, Ooh. less insanity popped, and the low HP Ballista is still there. Crystal is going to be focused down and uh, potentially backdoor to the base. 1 <laughs> 0. Man, what a team fight initiation at that Lord 4 going in and homeboys turning the tides oh my Ooh, god that's the, the damage the blitz. Oh. being picked out just out of nowhere <laughs> rko out of nowhere that is devastating for <laughs> s2g losing their mm on a lord fight here this is going to be tough for them to to take we do see Lunar a little displaced. Circling Eagle, not going to be utilized just yet. The carry is doing so much damage now <laughs> after picking up that Demon Hunter sword. But it's still not enough to kill people. Like, it's enough to, like, harass people and annoy, but <laughs> it's not enough to, like, one shot. But hey, it's still working, so oh mana is God. a big factor. One shot in these targets, just one after another. They, Nana is a big deal already. I think uh, S2G is underestimating that Melina Blitz. Our, and you, our lot just gets taken out by it. And then so did Claude. It was a rough go for S2G there. Now they're kind of pushed back against the wall. Homeboys, again, now into the flow of things. 
Yeah, and the Lord is going marching towards bot lane, probably going to cast on the turret. Bot lane has already been worked by Exborg, trying to go set up attack on the mid lane. Yeah, the Nana is also 2-0-3, two, two, oh, right? I mean, that's huge. It's uh, You're going to definitely have to watch out for those Molina Blitz because once they come down, unless you're paying attention, you might get caught off guard. Mm, trying to get out Firaga out of Axborg and uh, pressure from the Lord on the bot tower eventually make it fall and on the mid lane nothing absolutely happens trying to clear the wave on top to trying to continue this uh, siege of these tier 3 turrets Matilda trying to even more spam more TPs to distract the opponent second skill jumped right into the tower range trying to work on the turret here but Carrie is way too Ooh. far away to try to kill someone and she does following the in this small initiation and kills Arla yeah, it does seem like homeboys might be stay overstaying their welcome here as S2G's looking for some type of take, but they were able to take one. The Arla falling is huge for homeboys. They're going to show that aggression into the mid turret, and we might see... No, it looks like they're going to actually act... Like to, They're going to actively back up and farm the jungle. What? I, I have a question, like, why don't you use your, like, Steed and maybe, like, Aurora's ultimate to try to defend the tier 3 turret? Like, come on, man, it's it's an important objective, like, but nobody seems to, like, defend it or properly attack. Yeah, that's S2G, like, last Lord, they went on the enemy base and, like, did nothing so in terms of attack and defense on the objectives they kind of lack in experience and uh, we can see why there is a kind of newer to the scene we can see the differences in the gameplay oh but what a concealed play they're baiting out by zorn <laughs> What? I mean, all he got out of that was the conceal play, but I think it was a uh, it was a good stop at whatever advance that S2G thought they could possibly take right there. Yeah, and the pressure from the homeboys is going to get to the critical point after this Lord uh, Exborg trying to gain some vision on the enemies. Romer, which is our Lord, trying to uh, give more information and what chunking down that Firaga armor always. Almost uh, full, fully, and the second skill with the shield, uh, I think, actually saves the frag armor. Now gonna try to spin that uh, ultimate. No, no, he just loses it because of the phantom steed. Uh, but the good bait <laughs> on the ultimate here for the more That I, I feel like that was a good bait, and then I think right now we can kind of see that homeboy see that claws up in the top so that i don't think s2g has a way to go back in as the phantom steeds already been utilized we do see a circling eagle onto the back line of final slash there by the r lot chibi able to secure the lord there nets not just barely almost able to take out kazu there homeboy securing another lord will this be the final siege onto s2g yeah, it, it might be potentially Lord is marching mid lane, Exborg uh, region in his uh, Firaga armor on the base and trying to join this uh, potentially final siege. Carry is split pushing the bot lane and trying to join the gonna join probably on the mid lane up to the top turret. Top turret is uh, being prioritized by the homeboys running into the mid lane. Ooh. Insanely, I'm offended. Two people right un under the crystal and one of them is dead. Exborg trying to counter attack with his last insanity yeah i think homeboys initiated a little bit too late that i'm offended was a great secure and now cpap falls with zorn that a little rough by homeboys i mean they were able to clear up the left tower so there's no towers left for s2g and it's still 114 seconds to the next lord so if as long as no one else gets picked off here s2g I'm I mean they have to figure out something here, right? Yeah, they they got to go now with this minion wave on the mid lane oh. trying to catch even more kills, but the used flicker from the Nana uh, prevented from being available option. Yeah, the flicker dodge that I'm offended by Lunar 
a huge blow if they were able to maybe catch her but again Nanos still has that passive um and oh the Molina Blitz gets utilized, wasn't able to take out the Arlot there. That could be a, a good indicator for S2G to maybe engage and do something here. Bridget yeah, Glacier on the Zorn getting burned down. Last Insanity not able to do much there. Kazu on the hunt. That's exactly what you want to do if you are S2G. You really want to try to utilize these uh, kills on the enemy. Like, for example, now Matilda is uh, absent pretty much. And you want to try to go 5 versus 4 and make some additional kills. And make this kind of like not 5 versus 5 all the time. And eventually going for the Lord and going uh, for the finish. And the S2G are trying to make this happen. Yeah, I mean, I... I think the Arlot's staying in the mid because they, they're watching for that maybe anticipation of a backdoor, but Lunar a little bit too far into Homeboy's base there. We might see a little bit of a play as the Retri was utilized onto Arlot, but able to make it out. The final slash goes wide. Oh, the minions. minions are hitting S2G's base. I don't oh, think it's going to go be back. enough, but they're holding them back. They're going to stop them. Yeah, gotta go what? back, gotta go back, gotta even ult, ult in, on Aurora, oh because, God. like, these are not the <laughs> children minions, <laughs> these are, are chad minions already. That's about the Winions almost taking out S2G at this point. <laughs> uh, again, I, I think that was a, a, a point that homeboys needed to take advantage of, and we can kind of see that, right? They're clearing the, the right mm -hmm. lane, they're gonna utilize the Matilda to then have a little bit of a go here maybe maybe the stack of the minions on the bottom might be able to uh get them but it looks like i think they're gonna send claude to stop that right lane which i don't know if it's a great decision yeah and the minion waves are pushing themselves on their own because there are no turrets already and the 20 minions min, uh, minions are really really strong and that's exactly what you should do utilizing the advantage of having your own tier 3 inhibitors basically and the uh, enemy is not yeah again homeboy is playing decently passive here simpat utilizing that last insanity we do see Ooh. a suppression on two Ah, oh, the passive procced by the Aurora, and they don't want to let up! <laughs> we do see begin fall! Homeboy's on the hunt! Lunor, the immortality popped! Homeboy is gonna secure the double kill, the blazing duet utilized. Are they gonna... They're just gonna play passive? You took out two this people, This is just a potential comeback. Nobody wanna just go! Like, you gotta, you gotta squeeze more, guys! You gotta squeeze more! <laughs> there are low HP, it's potentially 5 versus 3 and low HP, Claude is not on the base, he's actually hitting minions, you gonna, uh, you're gonna try to finish right now actually, at least take some maybe more kills and or bait some ultimates and that's exactly what, she do, what they're doing, ultimates oh. use it on the Claude, all of them and the second Jeez. one on the Martis, it's going to be the end for the S2G. Yeah, I mean, I think at that point they were just utilizing the Lord, the, the time of taking the Lord for extra security if things did go south. But homeboys able to take...